Lovely. Well, this is very definitely haughty country here. Had to slow down for several groups of riders on the way here. And indeed, it's time to pull on your breeches, tie up your stock and don your riding hat because there's no faults with the next thoroughbred collection. Jackie Radvansky bought her first model horse from a jumble sale when she was 12. The collecting bug took hold and now she has a whole stable full of champions. A great collection, Jackie. Thank Do you, you love real live horses too? Yeah, I've got a great passion for horses. Yeah. And why the collection then? I am actually allergic to real horses, which stops me from getting anywhere near them without coming up in a rash. So this is um, my substitute. The next best thing. The next best thing. And no mucking out of stables. Exactly, yes. Them. You can stay in bed and dust them occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> so how many do you have altogether? Um, probably about a hundred or so, yeah. And is there a collector's club yes. for model horses? Yes, there's, there's sort of small organisations where we all get together and have great fun um, learning more about the, the hobby itself and, and uh, passing tips and information between each other. Because it's hard to believe that in a sense, these are working horses, are they? Yes. Yes. Explain how. We actually show them as you would a real horse. Um, only the judge walks around the table in this case, rather than the horse walks around the judge. Um, they actually get uh, judged on confirmation, setup, breed type, if they've been customised, um, whether it's a, a good customising job. Um, customising. One thinks of cars being customised, but you can customise horses. You can like customise horses. Yes, you can get um, a horse that you would buy from a shop, for example. And if you don't like it, you can repaint it. You can move its legs or its head, um, put a proper mane and tail on. Um, but the possibilities are endless. It's up to your imagination what you want to do. So when you compete, do you actually send in photographs like this in order to show the judges? That's right. They're set up. Um, with backdrops and um, all the uh, things you would find normally within that activity. Um, and then they, they take a photograph and then the person who's holding the show actually judges from that photograph whether the horse is in a sense real and doing that performance. So there's lots of rosettes at the front there. Quite clearly you're a winner. <laughs> I try. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I've had a great success over the few years um, and, and I love it. I'm hooked. So. When you're competing amongst people, how soon do you get to know the results? Photo shows where you send the photographs off, you tend to know within about two weeks by the time the results have been compiled and what have you. Um, but live shows where we actually get together in a, in a hall or something, you actually know there and then the judge will actually put the rosette or the trophy next to the winner and so on down the line. What about your husband? I mean, is he sympathetic to all of this? <laughs> he is now. <laughs> he wasn't to begin with. He thought it was a very girly, childish hobby to begin with. And, um, but now he's coming round to the idea it's either live with them or live without me. So. <laughs> and he actually helps. He has, yes. Together. Yes, he's, um, he, he started on the cart here, um, which um, I then found the little donkey and made the harness for. Um, and um, he's thrilled to bits with it. He, he thinks it's, it's lovely. So he's learning new skills when it comes to tooling leather. Yes, he's just you're got something of an expert too now. Yes, he's breeds. sort of uh, been watching me closely and has um, just learnt how to tool leather. So you really can let your imagination run wild. Definitely. You, can you be like a stud manager and actually breed from these? Yes. You can, um, for example, if you have a mare and you wish to have a foal from her, you can assign a sire for that foal. Um, it's like it's paid for breeding. Um, you have the foal possibly have a name similar to the, the sire and the dam, like you would have in the real horse world. Um, and sometimes they even wait nine months before they, uh, 11 months, sorry, before they um, buy the, the foal. So it's like the proper gesta gestation. All as realistic yeah. as possible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is it an expensive hobby? It can be, yes. Um, it can range from 50p to a couple of hundred pounds, even more. Mm. Well, so, a marvellous collection. Thanks very much for bringing them in. Thank you. Thanks, Jackie. And now it's time to start work on this week's Living Christmas.